about this. Michigan is now the eye of the storm in the political race for the Republican nomination for president. It is clear our state is critically important to Rick Santorum, but especially to Mitt Romney. And our exclusive WXYZ poll is giving us an inside look at who you would pick for president. We ask if the primary election were held today, who would you vote for? 37% of you would pick the 53-year-old Santorum. 34% would choose Michigan native Mitt Romney. 10% of you would vote for the 76-year-old Texas Congressman Ron Paul. Just 7% would choose former House Speaker Newt Gingrich. Now, in about an hour and a half, all four candidates are going to take the stage in a Republican debate in Mesa, Arizona, their last one before the February primaries in Michigan, Arizona, and, of course, Super Tuesday. Joining us now is our political pollster, Bernie Porn. And, Bernie, what happens if, if Romney can't win the state where his dad was governor, for goodness sake? Well, if he can't, I think he's... Uh... Uh, got a serious problem and uh, people will start talking about uh, a brokered convention and uh, uh, a loss in Michigan could also have uh, uh, a significant impact on the polls where he's leading in some of the southern states uh, where it was thought that uh, uh, Newt Gingrich would be running, uh, winning in those states and so it could have a profound impact and it would also have a lot of the insiders in the Republican Party questioning whether or not uh, uh, they uh, can uh, can, can, can ride the rest of, rest of the way with, uh, with Mitt Romney. Now, Bernie, the numbers have been tightening up. The ones we just gave you have been tightening up over the last couple of weeks. What do you expect Romney and Santorum to be doing here in these last six days before the primary? Well, they're going to continue with their advertising, and I expect uh, that uh, uh, the uh, Romney campaign may try to retool a little bit because they aren't really making the kind of inroads uh, to uh, move... Uh, uh, numbers against uh, Rick Santorum that they need to if uh, if they have any hopes of winning. The other thing that is important is that turnout will determine who wins. Among those who are very certain or somewhat certain to participate in this election, uh, the Rick Santorum lead is eight points. It's even more than the overall. If it's a really heavy turnout where those who say they're just likely to vote, uh, that's where uh, uh, Romney has a better chance of, uh, of uh, overtaking uh, Santorum. So Romney but, might actually hope for bad weather. But Romney should probably hope for bad weather. <laughs> uh, by the and way, Bernie, the, I, I was going to interrupt you here. Tonight is the last of the GOP debates here. Uh, based on your polling, what issues do these candidates really have to hit to get the attention of, especially here in Michigan, but also in Arizona? Well, I think uh, jobs in the economy continue to be uh, the issue, but uh, uh, the problem for uh, Mitt Romney, he continues to have difficulty explaining his position on the auto industry and in terms of, uh, of the loans that were given to the auto industry. Nothing he has said thus far, I think, has uh, really uh, 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 penetrated uh, the consciousness of voters in Michigan in terms of uh, considering him on that issue. All right, Bernie Porn, thank you so much for your insight. We're going to let you go right now, but we're going to be talking a lot to Bernie over the next week as we get closer to this primary, Diana. And Stephen, another part of our exclusive poll asked you, the voters, how you favor how you view the Republican candidates. So 62% of you saw Rick Santorum as a favorable candidate, followed closely by Mitt Romney with 58%. 41% of you saw Ron Paul as a favorable candidate, while 35% of you liked Newt Gingrich. And in Michigan, 64% of you favored Governor Rick Snyder, and 49% supported Pete Hoekstra. And we'll have more on our exclusive poll results tonight on 7 Action News at 7, and the complete list on WXYZ.com right now. Stay with 7 Action News and WXYZ.com. You can count on us to bring you the latest developments in the GOP race and next Tuesday's primary results. Oh, we heard